Hey beauties, all right, today we got the boxy charm for November. Um, I don't know what to expect. I think I customized and I think I chose a brow product from Benefit, but I don't remember. I, you know, it's, oh no, I did customize because I did the pop-up blush. Yeah, I think it was the Benefit product, whatever. It doesn't matter, we're about to find out. It's been raining here for the past couple days and this got left on the step, so it is, it's broke. It's rough but it's fine, it's fine. I love the theme. It was Boxy Charm Harvest. I think that's precious for the Thanksgiving vibes. Cute, super cute. Of course, we are seeing changes happening because of the Ipsy thing. We talked about that. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with this box. I don't know what to expect other than that one thing. First thing I see is they did give us a Natasha Denona 25% off site-wide coupon, which is nice because Natasha Denona is pricey. So any sort of savings there is, uh, I'm a fan of. I mean, I'm a fan of savings anyway, but like, Oh, okay, all right. First thing I see here is a palette of some kind. This is from Beauty Creations. It's the Cali Glow palette. And I'm thinking it's a, oh, it's a really large and beautiful highlight palette. Oh my gosh, I love those colors. Absolutely. Very golden, um, very, you know, it's some, it's funny because the packaging for it really gives me summer vibes, but these colors are definitely something that my fall aesthetic would go to, like those golden, the warm tones, which I kind of gravitate towards anyway, but like, I love it. Oh my God, huge fan of that. That's super cute. Okay, cool. Off to a good start. And it makes sense. So the second thing that I see in here, it looks like another palette. This one is from Natasha Denona, uh, which makes sense. That's why I got the coupon. And I have never tried any of her products because like I said, she's pricey. So I'm pumped once again, gorgeous shades for just absolutely beautiful shades for fall time. I love it. I think that there's so much you can do just with these two products alone. So yes, very excited about that one. Um, I will say I did actually, I, I did see some of the, I didn't know what to expect with this box, but I did see some of the stuff because I did buy some stuff from the pop-up. If you haven't checked it out and you have BoxyCharm, highly recommend it. There's, I could have spent thousands of dollars. I spent $70 again this month. I try to be really limited. I got a bunch of good palettes, a couple Fenty foundations. That box should be on the way. So we'll do an unboxing of that as well. They do a nice job of saying like, this could be in your base box for November, or this could be in the premium box for November. So if I see that, I don't buy it because I don't know what to expect unless I somehow already got in the box, which never happens. So I didn't buy any of that, but I did see um, like that this was one of the options in it. I actually might've even seen this one too, but I was thinking it was gonna be way smaller than it actually is. So yeah, two super, super cool products right there. I love that. Then we have, this is what I chose. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow, Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in the shade three. It's like a medium brown, like a taupey brown type thing, I think. So let's see, I can I can pull it out and we can find out. I like Benefit brow products. Yeah, just a nice little like medium brown. And I always need like the brow fiber things. I remember their choices I wasn't in love with. This was the only one I really was like, okay, cool. Like maybe there was like a mascara or something. So so I went with this one, but yeah, good products. I mean, everything in the box I've liked so far. So yeah, jazz about it. Huh, what is this? Is this an eyeshadow primer? It's gotta be from Almar. Yeah, so this looks like it's, I only, it doesn't say Almar on there, but it looks like the A. So I'm thinking this is an Almar product and this is a Pero Prima, Primero primer, which is a long wear sticky pigment base. So I'm guessing it's an eyeshadow primer. I always need those. Good product, like it. All right, the final product we have here is from Earth Harbor. It's the Helios Anti-Pollution Youth Ampoule. I don't know, maybe it's French, I don't know. I, you know, I don't pronounce things well, guys, so. All right, I'm gonna say, based on the size, based on the appearance, this is this has probably got a, a hefty price tag on it. Um, this easily could be like a $100 product. I'm really into the anti-pollution serums right now. I think it's a great idea. Um, I've gotten a couple of them. Um, this one is made with red algae and plant stem cells. Yeah, this has gotta be an expensive product. I'm jazzed about this one too. Great box. Great box. I mean, we got two palettes, we got brow products, we've got a primer, and we've got the serum. Once again, this is another month where I feel like you almost have a full look in the box. I like it, I love it. All right, they uh, they have continued to give us the price list. So I've got my handy dandy assistant right here. He's got his uh, handy dandy calculator ready because mental math is not our strong suit. We're gonna run down and we're gonna give the price of each product and see what the value of the box is. All righty, let's start off with the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. This is $48. Um, actually, that is cheaper than I thought it would be. I've looked at Natasha Denona's products quite a bit actually because I've wanted to try it, but she's she's got some hefty price tags on her stuff. So not a bad little bundle thing right there. 
palette. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, I'm shocked. Okay, so then we have the Helios Anti-Pollution Youth. Uh, I'm gonna call it a serum because I really don't know how to pronounce that word. It is only $48 as well. So shocking. Um, but I, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to test it out. We've got our Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Brow Gel, which is $24. We have our Almar Cosmetics Primer. It is an eyeshadow primer. It is $15. And then we have our Beauty Creations Cali Glow Palette, which is $14.99. That is not surprising. It definitely feels like one of the more affordable palettes that the, the, the feeling of it. Uh, but that gives us a base box price of $149.99. Great, it's great box. I'm, I've been satisfied with BoxyCharm. I, I really can only think of like one box this year that I really was just disappointed with. It was one of the luxes, it was early on in the year. I think it's been a strong year from them. I'm really excited to, what, to see what our Lux looks like for December. Um, I did pick out when I customized, or I mean, I'm sorry, I did, um, when I shopped the pop-up sale, I did customize and I was able to choose two products. Was not thrilled once again with the choices that they gave me, but I feel like with Boxy, their customization choice is always kind of like meh, but then the box itself winds up being really strong. So it's hard to gauge based off that. I wound up going with the teeth whitening machine, which I was very worried about because I'm not sure how healthy or what they do to your teeth and I don't, it worries me, but I was like, whatever, I'll try it. Uh, so I got that, it was like a $90 value um, and I picked that up and then I got a set of three eyeshadow crayons. They were like a blue, a green, and maybe a brown. And they, they looked cool. It was only like a $40 value. So I thought I only had to choose one. I actually went with that first and then I realized I had to choose two. And so then I second chose the teeth whitening thing because it was the only other thing I liked. So I'm excited to see what next month looks like. I want to see them finish out that you're strong. Um, I do have a couple things I want to talk about in a different video with some of the things that Ipsy's already started changing to kind of mimic BoxyCharm now that they've merged. So uh, yeah, big things coming. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps us a ton. Uh, if you like us, subscribe. There's a lot of stuff talking about Ipsy and, and Boxy coming up. So if you guys are into subscription boxes, especially those two, um, um, I would highly recommend subscribing because I'm always doing stuff concerning them. So yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.